About a year ago, I found a community on Roblox with some very uh, interesting usernames, such as uh, BBC Bull Needs Draining, Dumpster for BWC, and BBC. This one's just called 13 years. 13 years. I'm obsessed with BBC. This one's just, I love turtles. I like turtles. Little girl dump. 12 year old Maisie. I've seen this account so many times. By the way, if one of these accounts has like 12 years old in the username, it's probably not 12 years old. So this uh, vibrant community will take over innocent groups and use the members list as a sort of directory for these people to find each other. And if the walls of these groups are open, they'll use them to advertise their services. F14, add to F me hardcore, and I won't stop you. I do RPs for Robux slash tips, etc. Any RPs work. Examples, dirty taboo, toddler RP, fart RP, foot RP, etc. As long as I get creamed, pounded, thrusted, blacked, and filled. F14, I think we need to send an F14 to this guy's location. Selling fire picks on disc. Slim Bunny says, add to fill me up, Dom. Buddha, looking for girls and femboys to own and make my new toy. Look, it's 14 year old femboy. He said, bio. I can't view the bios of these because I'm not uh, logged in. But if you paste them in the discord, looking for a master who treats me like the dump I am. Now you've probably realized by now that something horrible is going on. Roblox is a kid's platform. So why are these people doing this on a website where the average age is 12? To find out, I joined one of the Discord servers linked on one of these groups disguised as a little girl. And immediately, I was messaged by a 19-year-old who was asking to trade nudes. And I said, what if I'm only 13? And he says, it could be our little secret. You could be my little girl. If only Roblox had some sort of team dedicated to the trust and safety of this website. If only there were some department that could, I don't know, uh, moderate these sorts of groups. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't they just hire someone to find these? Oh, you know what? I'll make it easy. Here's a program that I forced ChatGPT to write at gunpoint that automatically finds these groups. All you have to do is enter the ID of a couple of them, and within seconds, it'll find hundreds more. I'll look at the first 10. I don't want to take up too much time here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, first group. Let's look at some of these profiles. Ad for BBC. Brutal Bull. What about this one? This one looks innocent, but look at all the other groups he's in. Your toy, Bem Destroyer. I plow cum sluts. Young 10 year old toy. And wow, look at the favorites. No limits blocks. There's young 10 year old toy again. See, the thing about a lot of these accounts is they're never just in one group. They're almost always in multiple. And that's kind of how the script works. It really just looks for like, what's the most common groups among members in the sample. That works well in enough to get all of this with like minimal false positives. Hung in need fun. Your toy. Only for you. Only for me? They kind of gravitate towards the spade symbol. Spade is like a racial slur for black people. And most of these people have like interracial addictions. I actually have a picture saved on my computer of what one of these uh, BBC people looks like in real life. Uh, oh, here it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's about what I expected. So whenever you see uh, accounts like BBC Bull Needs Draining, this is who's behind it. This is the proud race trader behind uh, Coda for Blacks, behind 12-year-old Bunny. This is who you're talking to when you talk to I'm horny 13-year-old I trade. What is this username? Get creamed on this tip. Pause. Look at this fucking avatar. Good God, dude. This item is called uh, popped gum. Like, really? Really? 
I see what you were going for, but at the same time, what the fuck were you thinking? Do you realize what this is going to be used for? People have used this for avatars like this so much that Roblox recommends that you pair it with the tongue accessory. A lot of these accounts use these uh, shader shirts. Belly piercing, shading, collarbones, abs, ribs milk. Roblox is actively taking these down, but they don't stop people from uploading them. It's gotten so bad that if you sort t-shirts by recently created, look, look, oh my god, dude, look at the ribs on this one. Milk, milk, abs, jugs, milk, stomach, belly. It's like for every 10 shirts, one of them is one of these fucking milk shaders. This one has like a weird green stain on it. This one came from Goodwill. This one has a nice petunia on it. I think there needs to be stricter punishments for mods that approve inappropriate assets. I think if you get caught approving one of these shader shirts, they should uh, cut off your hand. Maybe they already do that, and that's why moderation is so incompetent. It's because none of them have hands. Every asset should include the real name and address of the mod that approved it. That would fix things. Right below the description, just have their whole LinkedIn profile. See, I'm inventing solutions to Roblox's biggest problems, and they're not using them. They should be paying me to do this. I remember when this company sued me, they tried to claim that they spent $100,000 banning me from the platform. I've probably made about 100 Roblox accounts throughout my life, so that comes out to about $1,000 per account. If I find a group with 4,000 of these accounts, that's an easy four million dollars I just saved them. I should be asking you guys for 1.6 million. You know what they should do? They should find out who a ton of these people are and file like a huge lawsuit against them. I know they can do it. They just sued a ton of uh, bootleg merchandise makers. If they can track down Chinese bootleggers, why not do the same for literal child predators? Can you imagine the humiliation these people would face if everyone knew their real names? Kazum the Zumpster 69 would never find work again. All I'm saying is, if I were in charge of things, this platform would look way different. For starters, uh, the adults only emoji would be filtered. I, I have no idea how that uh, oversight happened. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Oh my God. How did this get approved? But if I were in charge, someone would be getting their hand cut off. Oh, and no more furry stuff. I know that's going to offend a really weird group of people, but I've seen one too many horror stories to change my mind on this one. Jesus, dude. Look at these thumbnails, dude. This is just like Roblox porn being used to like market games to kids. How, dude? How is this possible? Yo, look at this. Why do they give it detailed feet? Oh my god, dude. All right, I, I better get out of here. What has become of my beloved platform? My beloved Roblox. God, you know how long this account has been up? This has been in like every single one of the videos I've made about this. 2020. This account was made in 2020. I don't really have a way of uh, ending this video. All I'm going to say is if the Roblox moderation department wants to use this script, they can have it. They can have it for free. I'm not even going to charge them for it, even though this took hours out of my life that I'll never get back. I will give this to them out of the goodness of my heart, just because I don't want this stuff to go on any further. Thanks for watching. Sign us off. Sam loves feet real. 15 year old male. Love cute souls and feet. Looking to get to know you. Super nice and open.